next on our plate is variable fast display so the variable fast display is this section so where you have this variable ones variable tools locals globals auto memory analysis so if you want to see what is the value of um, say obj1 so you can you can click type here obj1 and the variable will show up the value will show up in this column let's see this in action in the actual sap screen so if i execute my program with a debugger set so it will take me it will stop at the breakpoint now you see this section this is the variable fast display so variable one variable two so if i click on obj1 so it will say that obj1 is initial because it has not the class has not been created so this code has not been executed if i click f5 now you see this the value here changes so i'll just cut this tool and then if you see here it is a object of class cl material because it was defined as type ref so which you do not need to know i'm just showing you how you can use the variable so by mistake say you close this variable how you get it go to this new tool and then click for variable fast display and it brings over here okay and let's let's go inside the code i do f5 because i want to go inside get material so i do f5 or a single step all right and here uh, i do another single step i'll say f5 or single step look here here it matner has some 13 entries if i double i just double click on it material it shows up in the variable fast display and I, now i double click on it material now it shows me all the entries that has been selected from that table i want to go back what i'll do i'll just click on this back button i'm back there so if you want to see what was entered in the what is there in this s matner so this is the selection screen option so if i double click on s matner you see that there is a cap that means it has a header section let's click on the cap or we click on the internal level let's see here so it is blank because we did not pass any values in the selection screen all right and let's do f5 again f5 again i'll do f5 again now we went enter to the another method called get plants okay now let me delete all these variables now i want to see what is there in marcy so marcy there is no entry till now because our select query has not been executed now i do a f5 or a single step keep keep your eyes on here okay is zero now if i do f6 it will become three so it has selected three entries from the table marc so now if i want to see what are those three entries double click on this it marc and you see the plant this plant for this power center and for this material has been selected so this is our test system so we do not have much data therefore you saw only three entries over here if i want to go back to the source code click on the back button all right so this is fast variable in this fast variable i can also see local variables and global variables so local variable means local to this subroutine in this processing module i have not declared any local variable therefore you do not see any local variable but in the whole program i have three global variables it is it underscore marc it final and i have declared a marc in the top let's see let's see here see here i've declared a table marc in the top and then i have declared global variable matna here i have declared two more global variable this is it marc and it final the global means it is available in throughout the program inside the function uh, subroutine as well all right this is a global variable so you will be using this variable section first variable display very often in, when you are debugging.